Today I will show you a quick guide for the new classified gauntlet. I managed to do it solo and without a strike, and in my opinion this gauntlet is easier than the previous ones. Again, there are 30 rounds with unique objectives that you have to do. Before you try this gauntlet, make sure that you know the basic stuff about the map, so know how to build the shield and activate Pekka Punch. Your loadout. Make sure to pick Mule Kick because you will need free weapons. I also advise you to pick Dying Wish and the Shield Perk if you want to do it without going down. Time slip in your modifier slot also makes the things easier. So use the Katana weapon and Rate Fire Grenades. And use Anywhere But Here, Stock Option and Equipment for your consumables. I also recommend to use the Mark 12 shotgun as your starting weapon. Alright, for the gauntlet you want to get the Mark 12 shotgun and the RK7 pistol and pack a punch them before round 14. Keep these guns for all 30 rounds. Build your shield and get the parts for the trap and teleporter as early as you can. For the most part you can camp in the elevator in the office hallways. For example on round 5 where you are not allowed to move. Just camp there and if you need to use your special weapon. For round 6 Throw your grenades here on the ground to kill a lot of dogs at once before you make your way to turn on the power. For round 7, keep moving and use the teleporters if there are too many zombies around you, but don't use your specialist weapon in this round, because you need it on round 8. For round 9, camp again, use your grenades. You might want to use your ranged shield attack as well. Round 10 should be easy if you have your specialist weapon and your shotgun. Round 12 is a bit tricky because you need to use all 10 teleporters. There are 5 in the lab hallways, 2 in the office rooms and 2 in the war room. The last one is either in the panic room or groom lake. Depends if you want to pack a punch or not. But anyways, you need to be on DEFCON 5. If you just want to go to the panic room, you have to go through the server room teleporter. Round 13 is easy but annoying, just look for the box at the end of the round. But in this round you should also pack a punch your Mark 12 shotgun and RK7. So have enough points to do that. Maybe buy your perks after you have your pack a punch guns. For round 14 camp again and use victorious turtles to not get hit. For round 15 use grenades and the katana. For round 16, the RK7 round, I like to train in the war room, run in one big circle and slowly take them out. Round 17 is simple. For round 18, make sure to insert the trap parts and train the zombies in the office rooms. You have plenty of time to get 55 kills. After that, just survive. For round 19, do your best to end the round as fast as you can. But also try to end the round in the war room, because on round 20 you need to go to the panic room. So end the round, activate DEFCON 5 and use the server room teleporter. The crawlers shouldn't be a problem. End round 21 as fast as you can. The best place for a lot of zombie spawns is in the office rooms and hallways. But if you still have some time and 2 or 3 zombies left, buy perks or get rid of your third weapon and spend points on wall guns. You want to have less than 5000 points before round 22, because you will get damage as long as you have more than that. You can also buy ammo for your Packer Punch shotgun. This costs also 4500 points. For round 23 to 27, you can stay in the office hallways and elevator. If you get overrun, use the elevator to recover. And don't forget your shield. Just use anything that you have. For round 27, go back to the war room. By the way, Brain Rod would be great for your RK7, but train and take your time. You can also shoot the crawlers to let them explode and kill nearby zombies. But make sure to get some ammo for your Mark 12 shotgun as well in this round. Because you also want to stay in the war room on round 28. In this round, you can't use any elevator or teleporter. So use your shotgun. And do the same on round 29, but before you finish the round, get set up. You could spin the box for monkeys or the wonder weapon, but make sure to have at least one shotgun. So fill up your specialist weapon by spinning the box if you need to. And teleport to Groom Lake. 
Pack a punch all your weapons and finish the round. For round 30, use your special weapon and hope for the best. You should have a shield and dying wish as well, but if you have the right weapons, it should be easy. Especially if you have monkey bombs or the wanna weapon. And of course, if you want, you can also use some nukes or insta-kill consumables. But other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, I see you next time.